Hey y'all, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my face. So for today's video, I'm actually filming a bunch of videos right now to have them ready to edit and upload in the future. When I can't film, um, I want to film a bunch and I couldn't think of ideas so I went on my Instagram and put one of those like question things and usually I don't get responses. Last time someone responded and it wasn't anything helpful. So I sent it in my group chat that I have with some people and I said, you know, this is for y'all, lol, to see if they would say anything. And well, one of the people in the group chat responded. You may have heard of a YouTuber named David Seymour. I don't know if you know him. He's like pretty whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and he responded and he told me, roast YouTubers. And I was like, okay, who? And he said, me, JK. Be nice to me and roast everybody else. So, today I will be being nice to David Seymour and roasting every other YouTuber for 10 minutes straight. Let's get started. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there's two YouTubers who just got engaged recently. Um, and everyone was kind of like, literally, why? But this makes so much sense to me. I don't know why y'all don't understand. See, two of the biggest clout chasers on all of YouTube are going to get married. They can turn that wedding. They can have an engagement party video. They can have videos about trying on wedding dresses. What's up, Jake Paulers? Welcome to my wedding today, sponsored by Honey. With Honey, you can blah, 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 right? Or, um, hey guys, it's Tana, and, um, my... Wedding bouquet has, um, it has, like, <laughs> weed in it. <laughs> yeah. My tracks are showing at my wedding. Right? They can have a YouTuber, oh, bachelor party boxing match. Right? Jake Paul can get in the ring and, like, fight his groomsmen and turn it into content. That's what, y'all gotta find someone, get engaged. Purely for views. Now, maybe they actually like each other and they're really in love. I've seen that happen with people. They're together for a short time and they just know. But Tana was cheated on and immediately after started hanging out and dating Jake Paul. And Jake Paul proposed on her 21st birthday when I'm sure they were all pretty intoxicated. He had a giant cake. He had already bought a ring. I mean, at her birthday when you knew there'd be tons of cameras and people taking pictures. If you were really going to propose to somebody, would you do it that much in the public eye? I don't know. Next YouTuber I want to talk about is someone who I really looked up to and I loved her videos, Jacqueline Hill. I don't want to speak too ill on her because I really did like her videos and like her as a person. And then she released the lipstick line. Now, I don't know about you, but last I heard, lipstick shouldn't be fuzzy and moldy and hairy and full of bubbles. I have lipsticks in my collection that I've had since high school or old ones that my mom never used that she got for free and she gave to me that, I, that are probably like 10 years old and they don't look like that. I just don't understand how you can spend months putting your name on a brand, making the perfect formula and then mix it together in a month for reproduction? I mean, come on. Shane Dawson's series with Jeffree Star is taking longer than it took Jaclyn Hill to mix and produce her lipsticks properly. And in what world would the FDA ever approve using white furry gloves to inspect your lipstick? You don't need to touch a lipstick to look at it with your eyes and make sure there's not hair on it. I have worked in food production I have a Sur Safe food degree. I'm not certified in cosmetics, but being certified in food safety, I mean, even I know you don't want things with fuzz around things that people put in their bodies or on their face. Like, common knowledge. Come on. I'm 23 years old, but I've been watching YouTube since like 2011. I've been on YouTube watching things like covers and stuff sooner, but I've been watching YouTubers since about 2011. I really got into it. And I've definitely been around long enough to see the change. 2013, 2014 YouTube was just kind of magic happened. Everyone was collabing with everyone. There was collab channels. There was 
the British YouTubers and the American YouTubers, I mean, the trending page every day was Tyler Oakley collabing with Zoella or somebody. It was just a cool time to be on YouTube. Troy Sivan was a YouTuber, not a famous musician yet. I mean, it really was a different climate. Now I go on the trending page and all I see is like, Jimmy Fallon, this random music video, and some random video from this guy called Mr. Beast, right? So I'm like, I see his videos pop up my recommended. And a lot of YouTubers I watch have been stealing, <laughs> borrowing and crediting ideas from him, right? How do they come up with their names? Is it like, okay, I want to join FaZe Clan. All right, dude, but like, you need a name that like no one else has picked yet. Okay. How about, ooh, FaZe Lamp. Um, ooh, ooh, FaZe Sectional. Oh, oh, face carpet. No, 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 face rug. That's it. That's the one. Let's build a whole brand on it and then I'll get 8 million subscribers for being named after a household item that lives on the floor. Now, if I were asked to join Face Clan, I what would my face name be, you know? It'd have to be some kind of pun. I don't know, like, I'd be like Face Formage, which is like cheese in Italian. That's what I'd be. I'd be like Face Formage, Face <laughs> Cheese. I want to know, is there some kind of unspoken rule amongst YouTubers that if your name is David, like, you have to own a Tesla? Or are all the other Davids just copying David Dobrik? I mean, like, no Tino shade, all lemonade, but... I've been watching David Dobrik for a long time now, and the rest of the vlog squad. And David Dobrik is a millionaire, and I also think he's like an evil genius. He's got the most interesting mind, the way he thinks and processes things. But you know, I watch the vlog squad and all of their videos. And sometimes when I watch David's videos, I really just think like, why? Doing literally nothing and getting millions of billions of views and dollars off of doing nothing. It's just so funny to me to watch someone who's the same age as me being like a thousand million times richer than I will probably ever be. It really inspires me to want to pick up a camera, go film my friend jumping off of a table while drunk, and making a million dollars. I mean, truly, so inspirational. My humor is almost as dry as every single Gourmet Makes video after Claire Staffitz uses the dehydrator for the 100th time. So the point of this whole video is I was supposed to roast a bunch of YouTubers and then be like really nice to David. But the thing is, I'm already like really nice to David. I have a video on my channel about five underrated food tubers. He's the fifth one. So if you would like to see that, I will link that at the end of this. So I was trying to think of ways to be like nicer to him and roast him. But I, I sent something to his PO box around his birthday, right? It's June, and I don't know if he's gotten it yet. He may have gotten it, but he hasn't opened it in a mail vlog. And we've been hearing about this like mysterious mail vlog for like three months. So I will be nice to you when you open the thing that I sent you from us in the group chat. Hey peeps, welcome back to another video. Oh, today, I'm going to be making an upside down brownie dome cake and I was going through the recipe and it shows water but it doesn't show exactly how much water I need for the recipe so you know I just like went in my Instagram DMs with like Alex and I just like asked her like how much water for the recipe and she helped me out so thank you so much to Alex for helping me out with this video yeah if you didn't know I have a group chat with Alex and Rie, and it's like cool or whatever. Yeah, also like they DM me back while I was like driving to the store to get the groceries in my Tesla. Cause like, if you didn't know, I have a Tesla now. So like, that's pretty cool or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I like really don't like cream cheese. Like I really don't like cream cheese, but I only don't like cream cheese because all of like the original Buzzfeed recipes all use like cream cheese. Like don't you dare come up to me and like try and talk to me about like cookie dip or I will like literally vomit like in your face like nah so yeah um this recipe calls for a lot of water you are almost as bad as Brad from Bon Appetit who says 
Worder. Worder or something like that. Water. You do it. Call it water. So like the real tea, like, and that's the tea sis. I wear flannels in like all of my videos and I coordinate the color of the flannel to like whatever recipe I'm making. So like if what I'm making has like tomato sauce in it, then like I'll have like red in my flannel and literally like nobody noticed it for like the whole time of my channel until like a couple months ago, right? I complain that it's too hot to like wear flannels in the summer, but then like I wear a hoodie like literally every other day. And then like I make the polls for the recipes you guys like vote on, right? Like you go on my Instagram and like you vote on the four options in the polls. But I'll always put something in the polls that like I don't want to do. It's like I'm in charge of the polls. You think that I could like put four things that I wouldn't mind making, but of course I purposely put something in the polls that I know y'all are gonna pick that's gonna end up like torturing me in the end. Like I really could just be nice to myself and put like four like good things in the polls, but no, I have to go and put something that involves like an iron or something that's gonna take me like all day. And, like I have control of the polls and I like could have changed that outcome. Rocket League is my life. <laughs> when I do something really good or like I score, I'll be like <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> so guys, I have roasted several different YouTubers. I was gonna go on and on, but I kept it to a few of like the top YouTubers. I wanted this to be kind of a quick video. If you would like to see a part two of this video where I roast more YouTubers or I roast people while making an actual roast, because I think that'd be a really good idea to do in the future when I have um, a kitchen I can film in, I would really like to do that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're hungry for videos every Food Friday. Again, this was all jokes, um, no actual hatred or hate to any of these YouTubers, some of them I do like watch. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're hungry for videos whatever I actually post. And I will catch up with you guys next time. Peace!